In this video, we are going to delve into smart blocks and smart block groups. Uh, we're going to take a kind of a basic idea at looking at this, but if you want a much more in-depth look into the smart blocks, we do have a full strategy video going over those in more detail with some different insights from the TC world itself and how, how that would be used. So for now, I'm going to start with what is a smart block? A lot of people will see that and not realize what is that supposed to do? So let's go ahead and go to our smart block section here first. If I can get to it there, there we go. And smart blocks. So you see, I don't have anything set up just yet, but I can go through and start creating smart blocks, filter those out. So let's just go ahead and throw one together real quick here. You get a name, whatever you want this to be. And for me personally, you can make the merge field whatever you like for this. But I like to just copy the name, post it down here. The system will automatically convert it into an appropriate format for the merge field. So it's just easy reference. Go ahead and add that in. And we'll go back a step. You'll see I have a new smart block here. I can clone that. It's active. If I want it to be in line, sometimes uh, you'll want the formatting to be in line. So you can activate that here or delete it out. Let's go ahead and jump back in. And you'll notice you have a lot of the same tools you would have with an email. And the other piece here, which we'll talk about in just a second, will be conditions. Now, with the smart blocks, uh, if you're familiar with using merge fields, you're going to have a little bit of an idea what a smart block is. It is a more advanced merge field. You could type in whatever you want into this field here, into this, this text box, and that is going to essentially be the merge field value that will be used for this particular merge field. So if I go in here, I can go through. I, I've seen some people create entire emails in this smart block, and then that's going to make sense when we get to smart block groups when we uh, why that was done. But I can go through here, maybe something simple as this is going to be a list, a, a introduction for my different buyer contacts or attorneys, and I can plug that all in here. And then once I have that set up, so I'd go to in my contact roles, I can pull in information for the buyers, you know, the co-buyers, and it's only going to show if that information is valid. So as long as I actually have a buyer with that information, it's going to work. You can also add up conditions. Don't even bother with this particular smart block if I don't have a buyer. So maybe a condition I would use would be something like property, oh, no, sorry, file role. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> if I get to the right one, contact role. What are we looking for? I want to see a buyer and make sure that he exists or doesn't exist, whatever makes sense. So I'm going to add that in. Now I have a condition. This smart block is only going to work and be valid if there's a buyer that exists in the property. So if I have some sort of buyer introduction here, well, it's not going to even bother trying to do this if there is no buyer. So again, you got a lot of control there of what you want to put into it. Rather than a merge field is just going to look at a field and try to pull over that information. You're going to have a lot more control over, you know, what you're plugging into this, uh, what condition is going to be necessary for this to be active and go from there. So let's jump back a little bit. So that's our smart block. We just created one here. We also have edit groups and this will take you over to the smart group section. So again, don't have anything set up here just yet but I can add a smart block group. Same thing that I just did. I'll do something like that real quick. Copy that, plug it in. Oh, that's weird. It copied the wrong thing. Doesn't matter. I know how to do it. Introductions. There we go. And now in this part, you can group together multiple smart blocks. And this is where I've seen some really interesting things. I had a client who built maybe five, six different smart blocks, all with certain conditions where if this condition is met, use this smart block. If it's this condition is met, use this smart block. And then they put all those different smart blocks in here. So again, only the one that's actually matching the conditions will be applied. Then they took the smart block group and plug that into an email. And that email literally, because each email was built out into the smart blocks, all that email had was a smart block group. And so when they apply the email template, it looks at that smart block group, goes through all the different smart blocks to see, okay, which one can we apply here? Which one's actually matching what informa information we've set up? And then at the end of it, you'll have one of those smart blocks that activate and it fills in the entire email with all the information she was wanting to see in that particular scenario. Um, inspections, no inspections, that was two smart blocks. And, and things like that. So uh, using those together, 
you can basically have the system do a lot of the work for you, kind of figure out and calculating if all, do I need to use this response or do I need to use this response? That's where the smart blocks are gonna help out and again, be that advanced merge field that's gonna look for that information, find what needs to be plugged in and do it all for you. And all you had to do was set up the first initial instructions on what to look for. So hopefully, that will help save some time, and uh, all you have to do is apply the right smart blocks. Thanks.